Look, Diana, I know that Wonder Woman 84 is just a couple of weeks from dropping, but I'm gonna need you to reshoot that final battle with Cheetah dressed as Goldar from Power Rangers. Trust me, it'll be really important to the story. You're the best, thanks. <laughs> I'm Saban owes me five bucks. Oh, hello. Mr. Richards, there's a Mr. Batman here to see you. Still just Batman, or the Batman. Ah, great, send him a Janine. Bats, my main man. How's it hanging? Look, Dick, I may be the world's greatest detective, but even I can't figure out why I was sent a call sheet for Justice League reshoots. Didn't that stinker come out like three years ago? I thought we were moving on. Yes, it did, and we are, but since the movie's release, there's been a growing movement for a version that's more in line with Zack Snyder's original vision for the film. The kids have been calling for us to release the Snyder Cut, as they've so lovingly dubbed it. What? You can't just release the Snyder Cut. That doesn't make any sense. It's not like there's a fully finished version just sitting on a shelf somewhere collecting cobwebs. Whatever version he had worked on would be full of incomplete VFX, temp music, and a bunch of other things that would have to be fixed before the movie's even presentable. Making that happen would cost like millions of dollars. Actually, it would cost more like 70 million. And that's exactly what we're doing. The Snyder Cut is coming to HBO Max. What? Are you serious? This has to be a joke. Did the Joker put you up to this? Where are you, you coward? I know you're in here. Show yourself. Show yourself. Batman, Batman, I assure you it's very real. And honestly, I'm surprised you haven't heard about it till now. Didn't you see the trailer Zack Snyder tweeted a couple months back? You mean that black and white video with only slow-mo shots using the music from that really awkward sex scene from Watchmen? Seriously, look up that scene. Hour 44 into the theatrical cut. It's, uh, yikes. I thought that was a fan mashup. You're telling me that Megatron looking Steppenwolf wasn't the work of some teenager with Photoshop, but an actual professional animator? And why is the Joker here on the call sheet? He wasn't even in the original script. I mean, are you sure this movie's even gonna be good, Dick? Oh, I haven't even looked at a cut yet. Whether it's good or bad is completely inconsequential to my plans. Dick, how could you even say that? You spent $70 million on a movie and you haven't even seen it yet? <laughs> oh, Batman, you basic bitch. I'm not spending $70 million on a movie. I'm spending $70 million on a commercial. A commercial for HBO Max. I know, I know, that sounds like a big number, but I assure you, Bruce, Zack Snyder's announcement tweet alone was worth that amount. News of the Snyder Cut's existence drilled HBO Max into the thick skulls of the masses better than tens of thousands of ads ever could have. And unlike traditional ads, this is something better, something stronger, something you can't possibly miss. Even if you rightfully think it's gonna be a heaping disastrous mess, you're gonna tune in to find out. And to tune in, you're gonna have to cough up 15 bucks a month for HBO Max. 15 bucks a month? I know, my nipples are getting hard just thinking about it. And the best part, no matter how the Snyder Cut turns out, it's still a win for HBO Max. If by some miracle it's good, then we can shift the DCU to follow Snyder's vision. And the fanboys will think that they were right all along and that we listen to them. And if it sucks, then at least we championed an artist's vision and gave him the rare opportunity to fully realize it. Either way, huge points for HBO Max. What is your obsession with HBO Max, Dick? There's so much more that Warner Brothers has to offer. Comics, video games, podcasts, I guess. And what about the theatrical experience? I have so many fond memories of going out to the movies as a kid. And, you know, one really, really bad one. But for almost a hundred years, Warner Bros. has been one of the leading movie studios. Shouldn't you be focusing on getting people back into theaters, especially after this poop show of a year? Oh, Batman, to be so blissfully ignorant, I almost envy it. If this year has taught us anything, it's that theaters don't matter anymore. The future is streaming. Sure, the theatrical experience is magical, but these dum-dums seem perfectly content sitting on their asses for hours watching the same crap at home for free. And it's not just me who sees the writing on the wall, everyone else does too. Paramount, Universal, Apple, even the friggin' Discovery Channel is launching their own streaming service. We can't be left behind. Netflix already has the head start, Amazon has more money than God, and Disney just can't seem to lose regardless of the quality of their content, so we have to be smarter, take big but calculated risks. The streaming wars have begun, Bruce, and there is nothing I won't do to ensure that HBO Max comes out on top. I can't believe what I'm hearing. 
Nothing but a corporate monster. <sighs> Thank you, that's kind of what I'm going for. Well, if HBO Max is all you care about, then why even bother releasing movies in theaters at all? Oh. My. God. That's it! What's it? We release all of Warner Brothers movies on HBO Max. My God, why didn't I think of that? Oh, no, wait, Dick, that's, that's not what I meant. It's genius. A move that will disrupt everything. It'll gut theaters' potential to rebound after the pandemic. I don't like where this is going. It'll undercut Disney's absurd $30 premier access scheme. Can we just talk about this for a second? We'll have to pay back in royalties to the filmmakers. That one might come back to bite you in the ass. And best of all, it'll make HBO Max the place for big appointment viewing. Tens of millions of people will subscribe from FOMO alone! Dick, no! You can't just take movies out of theaters. They're too important. Can't you just, I, I don't know, release the movies on HBO Max and in theaters at the same time? Yes! Oh god, that's perfect! We'll still release the movies in theaters, forcing theater chains to play the movies for almost empty houses, while the majority of people stay home and watch them on HBO Max, practically ensuring that theaters will lose money on every showing. Batman, you're a genius! No wonder you're a billionaire! Yes, from shrewd business practices. Not because I inherited it. This is huge. I gotta start making some calls. Thanks for stopping by, Bruce. This has been extremely valuable. Janine will valid- No! Stop for one second and think about what you're doing. Theaters are special. The big screen is a gateway that lets us travel to new and exotic destinations. They're places of shelter and community in an ever-isolating society. They allow us to laugh when we feel hopeless. Let us see the world through other people's eyes. If you destroy movie theaters, then you'll be destroying the very fabric of- If you go along with this, I'll let you say the F word in the Snyder Cut. Really? You mean- I finally get to say And don't worry, it won't be bleeped in the movie. Oh my god. Well, screw everything else I was just saying. I'm in. I'm gonna go home right now and start practicing in front of the mirror. Toodles! <sighs> oh, look at that. Still hard. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We want to give a big shout out to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Manscaped is the leader in below the waist grooming, providing precision engineered tools and accessories for an effective groin grooming routine for the modern man. They hooked us up with a bunch of great stuff from their performance package kit, so let's check it out. We got the new Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks and cuts, which is crucial because trust me, you do not want any of that going on in your special area. Here's the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer, which I'm very excited to use. You know, as I've gotten older, I may have slowed down, but my nose hair has not. So, let's just take care of it. Manscaped even created a ball deodorant, hilariously named Crop Preserver, and a ball toner spray. So it's like every day is spa day for your balls. And for a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and the Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. So go to manscaped.com today and use the promo code WARP20 to get 20% off, plus free international shipping and two free gifts. Your balls and your body will thank you. And if you'd like to see another Dick Richards video, click the box on the left. Or to see another dope video, click the box on the right. Thanks for watching, and bye now.